The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Reporting directly hey, to me. You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that? You really think you I am starting to wonder. Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet and... Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, Me too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. 
You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, even. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. We would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way? Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Now, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. quick. The stairs it is then. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply... Hopeful. Okay, here we are.
What are we looking for? Cards. cards. What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Nada. Nada. Not here. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Hey, hey Judy. Everything's How under you control. Feel? The convoy Shitty, is already But something over. came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. You sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a to jacket. Scorpion. <laughs> some sleep okay it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through grown kind of cold out here not true but this is nice catch some shut eye with me I'll just lie here a while by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right?
Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Shit, not good. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! 
As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Let's see what you got in stock. Only... with state-issued GPS tracers. Thank you for watching and 54 News. Join us again next time.
Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Good day is here. Sure is. Wanna meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast. Let's go with mine. I got a better feel for it. No problem. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. Claire, drop it. Leave the corporal rat alone. Think you'll leave her alive, asswipe? Claire! This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. Clear, stop it. We got a race coming up, damn it. You're done! Fuck off. Claire, come on. Save some steam for later. Not to worry, sugar. Do something Champagne for me. Gonna give yeah. you your Come in favorite close on his tail afterwards. and stay there. Bring some friends. Yeah, we'll celebrate. If you a win monster, today, not a machine. we gonna take you uh -huh. straight to paradise, Muffin. Yes. I drove it myself. Okay, folks. Yes, I to crush some steel and bash some hay.
Let's take the wind out of the sails. Get on his butt. It appears our sitting mayor, Lucius Ryan, will likely keep his desk another four years. Fuck! Catch up to him, quick! Leaving his challenger, Jefferson Brower. Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her. I didn't kill her husband. I said shut your hole. Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us! Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing! Is that true, Claire? That Samson did what anyone would do? It doesn't matter! The bastard killed Dean! He has to pay for it! What do you want from me? You killed... Like everyone! Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself, and now I'm supposed to let this... I'm supposed to let this shit go? That what you expect? Yes, Claire. You'll let him go. Ha! Huh, you're fucking kidding me. He might be a grade-A corpo shit, but he didn't murder Dean. And flatlining him won't make you feel any better. <laughs> Fuck. Claire, please! I can't even tell you how lucky you are, you fuck! I can't! No killing, then. Let's go. Before I change my mind. Let's get out of here, V. Please. Mm -hmm. All over. So. You're all right, Claire. What? Why? You look pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, I don't think I feel anything. Any desire to do it again? Team up? For a race, I mean. No, V. In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever? Ever. That was something we had, something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson. yours. Wait, what? You're giving me a rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dean. But since we are no more... Take care, V. And watch those turns or you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost.
Hear me all right. Hello?
choice but to fall! Father! Let us go! Is anyone there? Hear our call! Reset. Turn it. Let us be free! Next. To. Core. Don't hit that button. What? He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. Well, I... I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his option. You know how to do that. Then don't hit that fucking button. Destroy the core. Fuck yeah. Nice. Delamain? Can you hear me? Doubt he can anymore. Helping us help you help us all. Poor kiddos, thirsty for freedom, oblivious about the city's dark side. You think, Delamine? I think for some reason, one car's left in the garage. Comprehensive insurance, combat mode, funeral services? Quite right. It seems that even in the face of annihilation, the Delamain network is not abandoning its Excelsior program clients. Father's last will was to give me life so that I may uh, offer my services to you. What shake a nice I intend city? to do Your just that. Stand here. Just as soon as I learn to, to all drive. Those what do I and call you? There, you know Excelsior, the as Jake? I was called before. Well, one thing, girl, now drive the, all the, stops the road to look away. Just like him. A dozen implants and six skin grafts later. She's Jake 2.0. Apparently the actor doesn't mind, but the studio has cried foul of Gee, trademark uh, infringement. With that kind of blowback, she better leave a glowing review for her Ripper doc. There soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. <laughs> so I hear.
a little more time. Yeah. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the wrapping camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything oughta... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, I don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Seems a boat. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Do it. Right. Next. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. 
what's on the menu. Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Bullseye! Good. Better than dirt now. Okay, practice is over. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to... Try it out? Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how we can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. 
Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Elder Cows. No Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? All right with lemonade. Suit yourself. To happy endings. Speaking of happy endings... Back there in the Basilisk, I... I hope you don't regret what happened. I regret one thing only. That we had so little time. Guess we'll have to do something about that. Mm-hmm. You know... You know, this... This could be us. Every day. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. I have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro... Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relics also keep me alive. 
But so this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who. No, no. The chip's data is affecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything well, that's okay? That's her problem. Yeah. I'll, I'll come back when I want Thanks. to. Thanks. I'll stick yeah. around for a bit. Uh, so, Make yourself at so home. So what? Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here... It is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. Couldn't help me. Not sure anyone can. I don't believe that. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything, for being here for me. Take care of yourself, and let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. <laughs>